Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Ninjago Stormbringer. This is set number 70652, 493 pieces. Looks like we got four minifigures, Zane J, Muzzle, and Daddy No Legs. So, cool little set. You got the, the blue dragon, and then some pretty cool villain figures. I really am digging the, the villains for this wave of... Lego Ninjago. Break our seals, turn the camera down, and let's check out what we have in here. All right, numbered bags, obviously. Four, three, a two, and a bag one, and our instruction book has seen better days. It's all rolled and folded and bent. All kinds of stuff. Just gonna try to somehow salvage this. Alright, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. It's better. It's still kind of tattered a little bit, but at least it's usable. So, open that up to our first page and let's open our. Um, First bag of hearts. <clears throat> we have a small bag of parts in here, and then we also have our little weapon accessory bag piece. This is something we're seeing in the newer Ninjago sets as well. Is this little bag of all of these little weapon pieces. They're pretty cool. They're all new, new molded pieces. So we've got some, some cool stuff. All right. so let's begin with a minifigure. We have Jay. He's going to be our first minifigure to build. He's got shoulder armor, and then he has the bottom part of his mask. And put the head over all of that. It's kind of making it for a thick little portion that this head is squeezing in between. And then the upper part of his mask is right here. You can see that fits perfectly on there. So he's going to use some of the, the parts from our new little... Wait a minute. Is he though? So, this one is not a newer part. This is the dragon sword. <clears throat> so we got the sword in a couple of the other sets as well. If you've missed any of those, check out the links I have down below. There's a, a link to all the Ninjago build videos I've done. Um, you can see some of the other newer sets that I've built. So this guy is going to have this piece right there. So once again a newer newer weapon piece attached to the chain. And then he's got the dragon sword right there. Okay, move that to the side. That's our only minifigure. Oh there's one other thing we need to add in his little back here. We have a little dagger or knife piece that goes there. So that's it for him. All right, so we're gonna begin one of the little accessory builds. Have some tan wedge plates that go here. A dark gray plate, olive green. Baby bow shape. Couple of wedge pieces. Let's see, that goes there. This brown stem piece attached to this clip. And that there, two. 
double wide cheese slopes. It's kind of weird. I guess those slopes are so nothing sticks on them that hard. I don't know. Got a couple brackets and two more slopes. Well, actually one is one's like a half pyramid slope and the other one is a double wide cheese slope. Got the clear inkwell piece. lightsaber handle on top of that with some armor piece there that's it so it kind of looks like a big anvil but it's got this uh, dragon armor so you can see the little dragon head kind of molded right here looks like it has some reptile scales and on the back it's got the uh, the studs that you would see on a lot of other armor pieces <clears throat> okay so with that being completed we're now moving on to the build of the dragon starting with some plates and brackets Slope. And these are the, the darker yellow color. I kind of call it the mustard yellow because it's a little bit darker than the standard yellow color. Some people call it Chima yellow because it's the yellow that was introduced in a lot of Chima sets. I've always kind of liked the color. I'm glad it's sticking around for other sets other than Chima's. clips right here and another plate a couple of the uh, mixel joint pieces and throwing a inverted slope on the ground Together. All right, so this should be similar to what we built on the other side. Pick up that inverted slope that I dropped on the ground because I need it now. Like we're gonna attach this red piece here. That will go there. And then we have a Technic brick there with two pinholes. Bring this over, attach that there. And we have the same little connector detail that was on the other side. Side. We're going to do a couple of bricks, plate here, tile, and what's next? Some 
corner plates. One, two, regular plate. Back here we have double wide cheese slopes. where that was showing it. We got plates and some brackets. And on those brackets we'll attach these two guys. Alright, so that completes our first bag of parts. Move these extras to the side. And let's jump into bag number two right now. Okay, we have everything out ready to go and we're moving on to our next minifigure. This is Daddy No Legs. They're kind of mocking this guy because he has no legs. They're kind of giving him a hard time saying, hey, Mr. No Legs. So we're going to start with this plate. Another plate there. We've got Dexter coming in the room making a bunch of noise. So we have a Technic axle, put another brick on here. And we have four of these little bionicle finger pieces that are going to get the orange horns in them. This one here, and the last one, with the horn and the little finger piece. Where is it though? There it is. Kind of the, the bad part of building on a, a dark colored desk is the darker pieces blend in with the desk sometimes. And there is a lot of dark blue and black in this bag apart, so uh, I got a lot of stuff kind of blending away all right so here's the the body portion of daddy no legs um actually so i'm gonna move the legs over it shows the legs being more like centered on the sides of the torso and not on the middle and since i can't move that brick it's easier to move the legs <clears throat> um, on the back side of this we're going to put a couple of clips and then we have a neck bracket piece that has a little round technic piece um, we're gonna put two Technic pins in there. And we got these little clips with some sort of gauge on them. So we got one, two. to clip on like that. Man, this guy has a lot of parts. Another little piece here. Goes like that. I have the little mask piece. Head. And the hair piece. I don't really like these hair. The hair pieces look cool, but they don't stick in those those brackets very well. So it's a little unfortunate. Um, lastly, we have a blade. And there we go. There he is. Daddy no legs. Pretty cool mechanized looking character. Alright. 
<coughs> Move him to the side. Um, oh, we have... I just turned the page. We have another little accessory weapon for him. It's going to be this long chain piece. With a clip. sure what that's for maybe he can throw this and it attaches to someone or something and then he can reel it back in that's his other little weapon okay move that guy to the side let's bring our dragon part back over and we'll continue building on to this <clears throat> piece for the extender that will go there two more brackets and then this little connector piece will hold it together two that were in that, that bag of parts. A lot of jumper tiles that look similar to it, but that's the only plates. A couple wedges and two dark blue cheese slopes right there. <clears throat> we have the plate with the bar piece there. And two regular bow shapes. One and where's the other one at? Once again, blending in with my dark table here. So we get those two there. And we've got some wedge plates there. Sloped piece and two more cheese slopes really a ton of small parts in this this bag of parts that we're doing <clears throat> goes there this one go here two more of them one and one here so these kind of simulate some scales on the the dragon all right so we've got jumper tiles that are going to go on these brackets regular tile two jumper tiles there and two more here these little teeth pieces with these baby bow slopes create three of those once again kind of simulating some scales that looks good so we rotate this around and we're going to basically repeat those steps on this side up quite a bit of these smaller parts and once again we have the scale detail yeah dropped one that's what I do when I build stuff I usually drop it a few times with the bars and 
into more of these sloped pieces. slope here and then another one of these bigger sloped pieces here all right move that to the side we have a little sub assembly to do it looks like we're beginning the tail already got uh, more of these plates with the clips on the top and we're going to use a pneumatic T piece Brackets. Another plate. Another one of these sloped pieces. Another double wide slope there and some wedge plates. Right, so that's our first little tail portion. Move that to the side. We have some bracket pieces, a couple of these clips. But another thing, it's the third thing I've dropped on this video. I don't know what it is today. I'm not paying attention or something. All right. This looks good there. And then we will attach that. So you can kind of see we've got the linkage pieces. All right, one more. We've got some mini brackets. Little one by one brackets. Got that, we got this tail piece. That part there, our baby bow slopes are not going to fit on there. It's weird. Oh. You know what I did? I used the wrong piece over here. Let's back up. Yeah. So what am I gonna do here? Let's pull that off. Pull this off. This guy is supposed to go here. That guy goes there. All right. Easy enough fix. So with that, now we have the clearance room for this piece to fit. Right there, right there. Averted disaster. Okay, now that simply clips on there. There's our full tail piece. Now we're going to create the little part to connect it to the, the dragon. So this will slide in here. Slide this axle through. Put a bushing on. That'll kind of help hold that in place. Attach it back there. And you can see that little um, bevel gear. You can kind of twist it and whip the tail around. So pretty cool little detail. All right, so that's gonna complete the bag 
Number two, you can see we kind of have this snake looking dragon portion completed so far. So we'll move our extra pieces off to the side and let's jump into our third bag of parts right now. Okay, we have everything for our third bag out. We have our next minifigure, it's Zane. He's got his arrow quiver piece on his back. And we're gonna do the bottom part of the mask. Head. Top part of the mask fits on there. Got the bow and arrow piece. And then we're going to do one of the swords from the, the first bag. His little weapon pack. There you go. That's saying pretty simple. Okay, moving on with dragon. We're gonna build some legs. That piece clips on there. Get this corner plate. Stud, sloped brick, and another corner. Okay, two jumper tiles. One, two, Nexo Shield. Two more jumper tiles. And then our same little scale detail did on the body of the dragon. We do on the legs. Okay, so with that complete, this will let's see, turn this around. I'll go there. That's our first leg. Next, we have this wedge. Another Nexo tile. And that Nexo tile, once again, those will simulate little scales. way and that go there. Alright, let's start building the other one. This one should be the same, just mirrored version of it. Got a large click hinge brick piece. Good. This one. Goes there. Alright. Last 
part of the front leg here. detailing they try to add to this to make it look a little bit more rounded and less blocky. Got our Nexo shield, We've got some jumper tiles. This set has a lot of a uh, large quantity of the same parts throughout it. Got a lot of these teeth, we have a lot of the, the baby bow slopes, other assorted parts. All right. Pop that guy on there. Next we have these um, pre-molded feet parts. And what we're going to do is attach some claws these little clip pieces and attach them to each one of the feet. That's basically four of the same feet piece, eight of these claws. down, pop one of these on each one. good. Next up we have this little panel piece that we're going to put a clip on here with a lightning bolt. And this little click hinge piece. Slide this Technic part on. few notches. We have these dark blue pre-molded horn pieces. I have Technic friction pins on the end. So they simply attach like that. So it's kind of like it's the ear portion of them. Our first one just kind of folds it back like that. Well, I guess that's the wing, kind of small wings. And repeat for the other side. The only difference is the ball joint pieces on the opposite side. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So that will go there. And 
And lastly, we have these two panels. We'll clip onto these clips to kind of create this little shoulder armor piece. All right, it's looking good. We're just missing a head. So let's move these extra pieces off to the side and jump onto our final bag of parts right now. Okay, we have everything out, ready to go. We do have our last minifigure to build. This is Muzzle. He's one of the villain characters. See, he's got the, the muzzle looking armor. Creepy head and the do rag style ninja mask. We'll do some weapons. This one is from the first bag of parts. Let's get that little sword. And then we have another one bar. A clip. That guy. There we go. That's muzzle and his accessories. Move him to the side. All right. So let's build the head portion of our dragon. A couple plates, a couple of brackets one two then we have two of these spring-loaded flick fire missile launchers This guy, these one by three plates will hold all that together. And we'll go there. Next up is a couple wedge plates, a couple more one by three plates. Move that to the side for a little bit as we have a sub assembly to make. These two pieces, we have the printed eye bricks. These are pretty cool. You can see it's got the scales and the eye, scales and an eye. Turn it over. Some more wedges. We have the plate with the bar. Now we've got these, this cool little sloped piece to kind of create the eyebrow shape. Two brackets and a red, red plate here. The baby bow slopes will go on top of the red plate. Two one by one tiles. I don't know why they just need to be a one by two tile. We'll go with that. This whole piece attaches right there. All right, so what do we got next? A jumper tile will go right here. We have two of these one by ones with the bar. You can see you can kind of rotate those around to where they go on 
slightly crooked, but it's meant to do that. We got that, and we have a dark blue baby bow slope. Right there. And a one by one corner, a one by one quarter round tile that will go like that. And what's next? Dark blue wedge there. Tile there. Another slope there. Okay, we turn this around. Looks like we're gonna repeat all the steps over here. Three jumper piece. Another one of our quarter round. Okay, there. Wedge a tile. And the sloped piece here. So we've got these clips with the bar hole. We're gonna put the little blade piece in it. And these will clip on to the little bar part. Um, then we've got the click hinge piece there. Here, these get the little Chima yellow horns in them. We'll fold them down once we got them on there. Looks good. So two more of the blade and bar holder piece. We got one, and we've got two. This is different. We have the binocle finger that we're going to put a horn on the, the end and then one on the side. And clip it upwards, push it back. Do the same here. This will be the bottom portion of the mouth. Let's see, we've got another clip piece and a bracket. So many of these little horns. And these are going on um, the, uh, what do you call it? lightsaber handle pieces. We'll put a orange tile, rotate this around. Put this guy here. It'll go under there. So that's our mouthpiece. And with that, we can stick it on the neck portion right there. Next up is a seat for Jay, so he can ride the dragon. We've got some brackets, we've got two chains. So this will be what will be attached to the dragon and attached to the seat. And then a plate. Two cheese slopes. pieces, two clips. It's basically repeating everything on the same side or on the opposite side. Some 
baby bow slopes. This is pretty cool. These look like little saddle bags. There, right there. Bring this over to those clips. We'll clip onto that black piece. And then our chains will go around and connect to the, the exposed stud for that one by three jumper tile. Both sides, very good. And we can open up the mouth, put in these spring-loaded flick fire missiles. It's actually kind of a tight squeeze in there. They go in there and you can see they come out the back here so you can just push your finger down on those to launch them. I can't quite get them all the way in there. The mouth closed, hopefully we'll keep it from uh, accidentally shooting out. All right, so that completes the build of the Stormbringer Dragon. So we've got Dragon, there is a few other small accessory pieces, but let's put clips back here. We can clip on the weapons. Well, that weapon actually doesn't clip on there. He's gonna have to hold on to his sword. See, he can ride up there. Anyway, we have Daddy No Legs. And this little accessory piece that's holding um, some dragon armor. You see that hair piece already came off. That's what I was talking about earlier. I don't like the way that that, that hair piece comes off of that, that head. Nothing you do about it. It's just the way it's designed. It's kind of like a soft rubbery plastic. So it doesn't have a lot of clutch power. We got Zane as well. There it is. Appreciate you guys watching if you like this video. As always, check out the links I have down below if you want to see more videos just like it. While you're down there, put a comment. Let me know your thoughts of this set. And we will see you in the next one.